Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Today we're going to talk about four COVID-19 habits that are making us lose our productivity. Welcome back to The Christian Professional. Over here we talk all things finances, self and career development through Christ. So if that interests you at all, I would highly recommend you to go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Number one would be sleeping in. I am here with all of you with sleeping in because it was a it was really tough for me to get up earlier since now you have more time in before work so you can just sleep in and kind of like roll out of bed and start working when you wake up in the morning with no sense of wanting to move and wanting to do things you're kind of already setting out the mood for the rest of the day have you guys realized that you actually are more tired staying at home working i feel like that was me for a while and i think that was because i wasn't just waking up in the morning making my bed and like you know getting on with the day because i had more time before work think about it the mornings are kind of like our most treasured hours for for work work because most people are not really calling us um social media might not be as popping at during that time like maybe like five six in the morning i think the mornings are the best time to kind of kick off your day do whatever that you know you've been meaning to do um and you know that you, you might have distractions if you wait until the rest of the day to do it um and it will seriously really help you to kind of kick off your day and um put your mind in a productivity zone because when you already start out slow you might as well just continue and finish slow right find somewhere in the living room if you can or if you have an office that'd be great i realize that not everyone has like a perfect home set up like an office that they can work out including me but just find somewhere in your room or in even your living room or your dining table where you can just sit and work and try to get out of bed as soon as you can in the morning that would really help you for productivity especially in these times where we have to stay home the second covid habit that is destroying our productivity is not planning the day i think that ever since i mean things are more open now but um because you know less people are kind of like meeting up to hang out and things like that i think we've gotten into this like very flex kind of day um so because of that you might not necessarily have to plan your day because you probably don't have that many things to do after work or like outside of the house but even if it's wash the dishes clean the floor and wash the car like make a to-do list and plan out your day because it's still going to kind of help you separate out the tasks that you have to do in your brain and when you have it written down it kind of reminds you okay this is what i have to do next this is what i have to do next when you don't have like a plan for the day you're basically planning not to do anything <laughs> because you don't have a plan right and i think that again this has really helped me to get more things done um while staying at home because i have like a to-do list that i'm constantly looking at and i'm like okay i need to get this done today but when you don't have one you can easily just forget and then you can easily forget um you know how important those things were because you just never wrote it down and it's so easy to just be like oh, i'll just do it tomorrow and that is the worst thing to say when you're trying to be productive. So just do it now while you have the chance. The next thing that destroys our productivity during COVID is excess social media usage. I feel you. I am right there with you. I think that, you know, because most of us don't get to see our friends as often or maybe you don't get to travel as often anymore, um, the best thing you can do is go on social media and see like people and see what they're doing and things like that which is great right but i would definitely strive to limit it i actually said an iphone has a way that you can go ahead and like set your settings so that it um kind of times you out um for every app and i think that can be really helpful like even if sometimes you like ignore it for like 15 minutes or whatever it still reminds you hey like you've been on social media for an hour or two hours today like it's time to slow down and that's something that i've done and that has really helped me and honestly I feel like I'm so tired of social media, but like that's just me. I think I'm just like literally just tired of like holding my phone and scrolling through it. So I've been trying to find other things to do and I like to read now. But um yeah, try to find something else you'd like to do. Um, you know, even if it's um playing a board game or you know, researching something, like just try to limit your social media usage because the more you're watching other people live their lives the more you are not spending the time to do the things that you want to do in your life because you're watching other people do the things that you want to do. Like, just think about it, right? Fourth COVID habit that is destroying our productivity is the fact that we're always in the same location. I know, like, you're like, okay, we're supposed to be staying home. Like, okay, what do we do? I think that's something that I have tried to implement is literally try to just work at different places in my room. That sounds cr crusty. But, like, actually, it helps me because I'm not always, like, in the same space. Try to also maybe go find a park outside where you can find a table and work there um just try to consistently change your locations because for me when i'm in the same place for a long time i just like don't want to do anything because i feel like i'm just always here like the fact that like you get up you don't really leave to go to work anymore you kind of just like 
get ready, stay in the same place, work the same place, sleep in the same place. Because you don't have like a change of pace, your mind can just like bring all those activities into one. So when it's time to like work hard, um, your mind's like, well, we just slept here. Like, you know, so it can be really helpful to try to find different locations to do different things. So you can start associating places to what you, um, what you're doing at that time of the day. Um, so just try to be creative, go outside, um, to find, find a different place in your room or whatever it may be. Maybe go to a family member's house if you can, but I would highly recommend to just try to change locations as you're working to keep yourself upbeat and productive. All right, you guys. So those are the four quarantine habits that are destroying our productivity. Also, if you want a productivity challenge, I actually recently posted um, a productivity challenge. It's called the Get It Together Challenge for you guys. It's one week long. In that challenge, I kind of walk you guys through how to really think about what you want to do, what your goals are. You have the chance to start implementing little habits here and there during your day to start being more productive. And every single day, there's like a set of things to do. So I actually just finished this challenge and I really enjoyed it. And I feel like my life was kind of like reset and like refreshed. So if you want to start your productivity journey, I would highly recommend to click that video. I'll put it up above and link down below. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Are you currently experiencing this? Um, if so, let's talk about it and let me know what you're doing to kind of crunch that habit and get back into your productivity. I will be doing a lot more productivity videos, guys. So if you like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I will keep these coming out. Um, yeah, if you want to, you can connect with me on Instagram at the Christian Professional. Over there, I'm a little bit more into about my life so if you want to get to know me go ahead and follow me on there and you can dm me and i will show you some love thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye